Hey, what's going on everybody today and welcome back to another episode of Remnant from the Ashes. We are still on track to uh, getting the Undead King, I believe. So, gonna go back to our last checkpoint. Yeah, last checkpoint, so hopefully this doesn't take me somewhere where I don't want to go because that would suck. I should be back at that little, little guy. Yes, perfect. Okay. So, at the end of last episode, we went back and upgraded a whole bunch of stuff. Boss. Well, it's a good thing we went back and upgraded a whole bunch of stuff. The hive. Oh, great. Is it going to be one of those bee guys? I was not expecting to do a boss fight this early. Oh, no. Oh. Good God. What are those things? They die pretty easy, thankfully. Things are not good for each other. Oh, good lord. Thank you, dog. Get rid of that radiation. I want you to light on fire, eh? He hits through walls. Take care of him. I need you to for a second. Run and hide when he does stuff like that, bro. Oh shit, hello. Bro, these guys are so hard to dodge. dog, bro. Fuck you. No. <laughs> Can't dodge when healing, man. That's unlucky. Okay, at least I know what to do. Okay. Oh, he's already out there, eh? Takes a bunch of damage though. Makes me think I should just target him, eh? Okay, until he does that. When he does that, then I gotta like move. Get that move, bro.
trying to like focus on the game and try like I want to commentate on what's happening, but it's difficult. <laughs> These little bee things are annoying. He needs to light on fire, bro. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that'll help me when that happens. Buford's very good at taking care of the, these little guys. See you later, buddy. Sorry, Buford. Gotta go. Take care of any little guys. Radioactive skull, okay. Not a clue what that does. Oh, I got one of those red glowing fragments. That's sick, I can upgrade my dragon heart, I think, now, right? I think I only need one. Okay, so you get those from bosses. Yeah, so you're like, right now, I'd have two. You know, I'd feel a lot more comfortable if I had two right now instead of just one, even though I know I'm going to get more. Granted, you can't spend them on really anything else anyway, so, oh well. Okay, well that was a uh, friggin' Beelzebub looking ass. Used most of my, actually I used all of my uh, heavy water. So, I would like it if there's some kind of checkpoint. Hello, checkpoint. Scouring wastes. I was already here, wasn't I? It's on the other side though. Oh yeah. Really, there's no checkpoint here. Hopefully I didn't just pass it, because that would suck. I do have a trait point. Okay, I am going to upgrade... Oh yeah, see, so my health currently is plus 25. This one ring I have on... Where is it? Character. This ring gives me 25 health. That's crazy. It literally... Like, it, if it doubles, like, if it keeps going and it just doubles, it literally doubled what my health is just with that ring. So, element resistance, honestly, probably really good to have. So I'm going to put a point into that just to get a little bit better, you know. Because right now, it's, it's almost like it's a numbers game. Every little bit helps. So, this is interesting looking. Hey, a checkpoint! I need one of these. So there's that down there. That looks like it's got a little doorway to it. Not gonna travel just yet. Um, I can't really go this way. I will try to see through to the other side and... Oh, what's this? Hey, look at that, the other side. Made it. Alright, so now that this is open... So this just goes right back, yeah, there's that area, so I'm just going to run this way a little bit just to kind of connect the two on the map, right? There's like hieroglyphs on the side or something, that's kind of cool. There's something in there. Okay, now that they're connected, just enough so I can kind of make it out. 
I'm intrigued by these. These are cool. See, I like stuff like this because I have no idea what it... I have no idea what it means, but it's like somebody put that there for a purpose, you know? It's not just there because, oh, hey, I think it looks cool, unless that's actually the reason, in which that case then I'm completely wrong and a little bit bewildered on why they would do something that specific too. Okay, so there's another doorway here. So I'll go to this door first because I can always travel back to that place. And maybe after this one, I will be able to go back and get the other two doors open because if this is another underground area, if I can complete this... Perfect, little checkpoint, love it. If I can complete this checkpoint, or this underground area, and get another rod, then perhaps I can go and open the other two doors at the same time. Not that I probably am going to want to put on whatever they have. Not in the mood, still guy. Are you, like, just broken down here or something? Or is it just because you can't reach? That's why you do that. I'd say let's take our time, but... I'm sick of taking our time. We're doing this fast. I already just dealt with your friggin' dad, bro. I ain't dealing with you. Sit. That guy can stay blowing up. I will run through and pick up as much forge iron though as I can on the way. I don't care about scrap. I've reached that point where it's like I just don't care about some things. It's not over, bro. There's literally a guy right here. There's actually two of them. One thing actually I just now realized about this game is like, looking up there, I want to throw like a grenade. There's no grenades in this. There's none of that. What is that? Not a hard boss anymore. Okay, we'll hit that. Her skull just went around the corner here. I think I hear one of those those big guys with the guns. I was right. I like the way of regaining your skills, though, eh? Like, I can use my skills as much as I want per level. I just have to shoot them, you know? Like, I shoot an enemy, it gives it back to me. You can do something about that, Buford. Go for it. Good boy. You're doing good, you know what? Maybe that's... Come on, be up here. This is where the last ones were. What is this? Ooh. It's like gold. Okay, well, it is something new at least. So I can't say I'm completely disappointed. What was that noise? That's just the sound the skulls make. Hmm. 
Got a bit of a predicament here. Gotta stall on Buford. Game is not a good time to freeze. Though. Shit. Yeah, when he's in the underground area, he literally can't do anything about like the things that shoot up and try to like be a homing missile. Because literally. It's like it just hits the ceiling before it does anything. Okay, good. So this is that extra way that I don't have to go all the way back through to get to. The aesthetic in this game is pretty cool. It's like post-apocalyptic, alien world, kind of... Again, it's just, it's just interesting. And this has also been one of the only kind of games that I actually can tolerate playing. Um, I don't know what it is about this game, but I've played Destiny 2 before. Um, I've never just played normal Destiny, but I have played Destiny 2. And I tried it. I think I played it for a few hours or something, and it's like, I progressed through the story, like, actually pretty well. I had a friend who even played the game, and it's like, it just wasn't for me. I just didn't care for the game all that much, and it's like, I don't think it was a bad game, but... It was kind of, I don't know, almost boring for me. I don't know why. Again, I'm not trying to shit talk the other games and like, it's not like these guys have sponsored this video or anything and said, hey, you know what? Talk shit about the other guys. That's not at all the case. I'm just here voicing my honest opinion, completely unbiased. Um, it's like, you think if, it, if I had a friend who played Destiny, I'd actually enjoy it more. And I enjoyed playing with him, but it's like, I just didn't care for it. It's like, it was very similar to this in some ways. What do we got here? Oh, that did not go as planned. I ain't doing work anymore, bro. Shit. I am on literally 2 HP. Shit, and I have no more water. I have no heavy water. Stamina is at half. Just run, just run, just run, just run. I have to get to another checkpoint to get some more health things. Thankfully, my health is already, like, going back up. Okay. Whew. I would love to go up there and grab that little bit of iron, but I really don't need iron anymore, thankfully. So. Okay. Still burning. Well, actually... I don't know if it damages me. I'd imagine it does. Oh, it actually cleanses effects too? Holy shit, nice. Um, okay. Anyways, let's check. I think I got a, I got two trait points there. I'm putting them both in Elder Knowledge. Inventory, I got... Or no, character, sorry. I got one of these things. Dragonheart removes all status effects from all allies. Status effects build up on wearer is reduced to 50%. So that's pretty much better. Like, hey, holy shit, I'm radioactive right now, or irradiated, I need to, like, get rid of it, and that's a good way of doing it. Cool. All right. Let's go through this one, and then hopefully... Is there another boss? Let's just do it. What is this? 
What the hell is that? Ew. I can't move, bro. I, I literally was stuck at the door. I couldn't move. Oh, no. Wow. That's, uh, crazy. I need to, like, move out to the friggin' side as fast as I can. Stay away. Just stay away. doing what oh shit my game needs to not be freezing during this bro shit bro Oh my god. Don't get close to him at whatever you do. I can give this guy a few more tries and then I'll have to put it... Honestly, I think I'll just make this the next video because if this goes on any longer, it's going to be uh, over the time limit that I'm really looking for. So, I'm terrified. And this is an extremely difficult boss so far. I've never faced this boss. Like... You know what it might be? Because it's on hard mode, maybe there's more bosses? Because, like, I knew I fought the, uh, the B guy before, and I fought Gorefist. I don't think I ever fought the dragon before, and I've never fought whatever that thing is. So, I'm now going to, like, damn, these, this episode and the next episode, back-to-back -back boss fights, I guess, and that's getting right into it. So, thank you for watching, I hope this was enjoyable. And, uh, I'm, I'm terrified to take on the, the harrowing or whatever the hell it's called. So, till next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace.